I am here. I'm so excited for this. Right. Yes. Back with my, more My Hero Academia. I'm so excited. I'm doing this early, so I don't have to. I'm doing this early on in the day. It's like half four right now, so I don't have to. So I don't have to worry about it later on. Okay. Back. Back to the episode. Though. Uh, last time we had an amazing episode of just Deku versus Kapchan with Araka. I'm saying her name right now. I know I was saying it wrong in the last in the last episode, but Araka and Tenya in the background, along with All Might and the rest of the students. But this w it was all about Deku and Kachan, and now Deku is severely messed up. I can see this being a time of redemption for Kachan. I hope it happens this episode. It's going to be so good if it does. This, this anime just never fails to get me hyped up. But unfortunately, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say I'm gonna say this before now. I mean, with My Hero Academia, I'm having, I'm having troubles uploading the full length onto Patreon because I upload it to Daily Motion first, but it always gets copyright claimed. It always gets flagged down. So someone has mentioned, someone has mentioned in my comments doing it on another website instead of Daily Motion. But we'll have to see. I mean, I'll try uploading it on Daily Motion first. If it gets copyright claim, then I'll try it on the new, the new website. You can go over to my Patreon if you want, and you'll be able to see this on the day this episode comes out on YouTube. You will be able to see it full length on, on Patreon for three dollars a month. Or you could go over to Patreon and subscribe for five dollars a month, and not only will you get the full length reaction to this episode, you will also get the edited reaction to next week's episode. So that's that's how it goes. Three three dollars you get the full length, five dollars you get early access to the a week in advance. So without further ado, we're gonna move on to my hair academia. Season one, episode eight. So I just wanna get into it right. He probably did He probably did the least out of everyone. Fair enough. I like this, we get to see more of the kids in action. More of the students. Yeah. I love this guy. I've only had like three lines out of him and he's already amazing. Jesus Christ. 
Shoto is a badass! I'm loving this game to see all of them in action. What does she do? Oh. <laughs> that would have been a hell of a long lesson if they all had to do that same task. Oh. Yep, time for him to change back. Must have been, must have been three hours. Must have been, like close to three hours then, because that's the amount of time we can only go hero. Yeah. Who's the close friend? His right arm is getting a work in. He's broken he's broken his entire arm twice and, and his and his finger has been broken three times. Is he is he trying to leave in the school? He's just getting more angry. I will work until I have full control of this ball of quirk. And I'll finally beat you with my own power. Oh, oh crap, what am I saying? I only meant to tell him that I wasn't tricking him. How dumb do you think I am? Borrowed power? Don't talk to me like I'm an idiot. That's the most. That's that's the most emotion we've seen out of him besides anger. Right now. 
save your feet. I'll be more famous than you, and I'll do it without your help. Uh, all right. I guess he's already over it. What were you saying to Bakugo before I arrived so heroically? That was the entire episode. These episodes go by so fast. Okay, someone just started a live video. I just got an Instagram notification. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. This was awesome. Very much less action from the previous episode. But, come to think of it, most of the action in the last episode was about... Well, most of the interesting stuff about last episode was getting the heads of Deku and Kachan. And we kind of had a lot, we kind of had a bit more of that here. I loved seeing all of the, I loved, love, love seeing all of the extra, the other classmates in action. I'm going to see if I can go through everyone as much as I can. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to get some wrong. Okay, so there's obviously Deku, Kachan, Tenya, who got MVP of the match for some reason, even though he barely did anything. But I guess it was explained to us. And then Uraka. Momo was the the girl who knew everything. The MVP girl, I guess, I guess she was. <laughs> the little guy who can make blobs of something, I don't know. He was just staring her, at her ass the whole time. Shoto is a bloody badass! He's OP! And then you got you got the guy who who can replicate, who's got like the, the the arm things, the arm wings, and he can replicate pieces of his body onto it. <laughs> I wonder what he's going to do with that when he's older. The guy who, he's got like the tail up behind him and everything, the and the, and the slick back blonde, blonde hair. I don't know what the hell, I don't know what the hell his power is, but, yeah. The invisible girl, asking him not to look at her while she's invisible. So... That's ten students already, and I don't, th and no, I don't think I'm anywhere near doing all of them. Then there's the big guy with the huge lips. Looks like his power is strength, I'm guessing. Then the big rock-looking guy. From the look of him before, it looks like he's one of those like people who's who's grown up but he's still got the mentality of a child. From the look of him earlier, the electricity guy, which was cool. I'm losing track of who I'm saying. The redhead guy who can like shape his hands into rocks and something like that. That was cool. The girl who's got the plugs in her ears, and she talks. She talks like a proper emo, and it, it's great. I'm losing track here of who who was in it. Ah, oh. and I don't want to go back into the intro because I want to learn their names as they go along, and I've not heard that. I didn't hear. I didn't hear all their names properly in this episode, so I want to. I want to get to know them naturally, and not have to look at the intro to find out who they are. The guy who could shoot like tapes out of his arm. I didn't. Didn't, don't really know what the hell that is. Oh, the bird guy as well, who can like sprout shadows from his cloak. That's cool. The French, the French guy, of course. The girl, the girl who can like surf on water that she's secreting from herself. It seems. Or was it was it water? I don't know because it looks like it steamed when it hit the when it hit. Is it Yuya? Is that his name? I don't know. But uh, yeah, it looks like it steamed when it hit his coat. So is it? Is it acid or something? I don't know. I'm going to have fun learning all these students as they go forward. This was very much almost a showcase for all of them, even though we didn't see them all in action. It was definitely a showcase for Shoto. Jeez. Kachan's not there yet. It's not a full redemption for him. But he's getting there. He's stepping, to, he's stepping there more as we go along. He's not humanized yet, but this is definitely the the beginning of his turn. Right, as I said, I cannot wait to learn more about all these students. I hope they all become great characters as we go along. So that's all for this week of My Hero Academia. I'm loving this show so much. And like I said all the time, my friends I love, love it when I say that. Uh, yeah, so... With, with all that done, we are over and out. Bye!